What's going on, YouTube world? Today, we're looking at the one from Ebonite. Now, I know in some places this ball is, again, Ebonite in general just is not the best selling product, but I'm telling you, this is some of the best rolling stuff that's on the market. From the GB4 Solid to the GB4 Pearl to the Envision, and that Polaris Hybrid. If you haven't picked up any of these balls, man, I'm just, I'm just saying, you really got to give it a try. Uh, but I haven't thrown this one yet. You're gonna see everything right now. We're gonna get warmed up, and then we'll start the review. Um, but as always, man, I'm in Sawgrass Lane to take care of me. Fresh house shot, and then, uh, man, if you, and again, if you're in this area for Lauderdale, man, come check out my boy Tony and Roger at Boulder's Edge, man. They take care of you. Um, and then the best way to support the channel, use the links below. If you want to purchase a ball, if you like anything that you're seeing if you want anything cool wick related got a cool wick t-shirt on today uh <laughs> be a little dramatic but uh but yeah man if you want anything use the discount code uh below touch 10 and man you guys are off and racing man so uh, i'm done talking now we're going to compare this to the envision and then i'm thinking the black widow goes too just for kicks and giggles uh I think a lot of people like the Ghost, and the Ghost is still a very popular ball. So um, let's go ahead and get to the links. My first couple shots with this ball, I'm liking this motion, man. Even from, again, squaring it up, and I cheated. I once I cheated left, I started a little left like my, like a normal shot for me, and it made a nice motion. You know, a little light shaker, right? Break it, ah, excuse me, a light shaker. Um, but it looked good. So I like the way these colors are really swirling going down the lane. There's a little too much volume down there right now for it to make it around the corner, and I'm kind of throwing it way out there. I played a tighter line, which I'm gonna do that for about two more shots, and then we're gonna change to the, the Envision. But yeah, it's like, oh, it's too much oil, it's a fresh shot. But yeah, I can't just wing it out there and just and hope for the best, essentially. Uh, so man, we're gonna tighten the line up a little bit, and then again, we're gonna get to the Envision. So here we go, uh, same layout as always. Uh, just pin up my ring finger, mass bias kick a little. Um, but yeah, immediately when I try to move left with this ball, uh, again, it just, it, the compound is just a little too clean, shooting through the spot, uh, just didn't have enough traction. So uh, the next set of shots, um, when you see the one again, it will have 2000 on it. Uh, but again, we're gonna look at the numbers and see how it compares to the Envision. The Envision is a solid. Um, but they're both actually solid. It's just uh, the Envision comes out of a box at 2,000 grit, where the one has 2,000 and compound. Uh, the core numbers on the one are definitely stronger, much lower RG and a higher differential. And the intermediate differential is way more, <laughs> which kind of makes sense. Uh, and it'll make a lot more sense once you see the one again with the 2,000 on it. Uh, the one with 2,000 makes like a crazy move to the pocket. Uh, and it, again, I really love the ball reaction. Uh, but once we just look at the Envision, another sleeper ball, I said it before, that people just need to look at the Ebonite brand. These balls just get it done. They may not be the flashiest thing off the shelf, but man, do they roll, roll very well. Uh, but how it fits in, in my bag for me, uh, the one uh, speaking uh, is, is just 
uh, it's in that realm of the Paragon Hybrid, but I feel like it's a little more continuous because it's not quite as sharp off the friction. Uh, I feel like it rolls a, a, a little bit heavier uh, in the middle part of the lane, uh, where as you look at the Polaris Hybrid, I feel like the Polaris Hybrid is a little rounder than the one is, especially again, once it's 2000 and you really see its makeup, uh, it, it's, it's a little bit more. Uh, the Polaris, I still think, is a stronger ball front to back, um, but I feel like, again, side to side is where you're going to see the one really shine uh, because especially now that we're seeing it with the 2000 on it, uh, it just continues to come around the corner, man. Unless I throw it out the window, which I can do, <laughs> uh, but this ball rolls, rolls very well, and it's definitely still on the top end of the spectrum uh, as far as strength-wise uh, in the line. So you got to keep that in mind. If you are looking for something for heavier oil, this is still kind of where that ball fits. Um, it, it can roll really well on friction. Uh, you got to get weight left with it. Uh, but again, on friction, I did use it. It retained plenty of energy, which was very shocking. Uh, I'm talking about one of those beat up lanes that have been massacred, maybe, you know, 10 plus games on it. And I'm over there trying to loft the ball uh, down the lane. And this ball made it look really easy. Uh, so if you are somebody that still does bowl in a, a high friction house shot, this is definitely a ball that can work for you and you could you could potentially use it all night. Now, again, I do believe there will be better options, but if you're using weaker stuff and you start you begin to struggle getting the corners out, that's when you need a bigger ball. And I feel like especially if you leave the compound on this ball, it, it's going to get the job done. But for me personally, I'm definitely going to keep this ball at that 2000 finish. Um, this lightly scuffed it. Um, and again, it just rolls good. It blends the lane out really well for me, especially if we're talking about a big ASIM. And the Envision is definitely under it as far as ball reaction goes. Even from the core, even from the cover stock, uh, this ball is a tier below. It's just cleaner. Um, and it, it still comes around the corner. Like, again, you see some of these shots, you know, it saw the friction and just really took off. Um, it, I, I love this Envision, man. Like, this ball does not get enough love. And I really hope everybody can give the envision a try as well as the one I, man these are two asymmetric uh solids one what comes out of box with polish one comes out with a little surface uh but man they get the job done the, the envision is more of like a benchmark uh asim in that obsession tour range of ball motion and ball reaction um but i feel like it's a little quicker off the spot so that is it as always man i appreciate you we got some more fun stuff coming